Welcome to IT Frontier. My name is Sanya Bhatt. Today I will be discussing on how to create IoT Hub in Azure Portal. So stay tuned until the end of this video to get the steps right. It takes time and effort to create content for you guys. So please share your support by liking this video and hitting that subscribe button. Let's get started. So now let's uh, look into how to create IoT Hub in our Azure portal. Right now in the resources, you can see recent and favorite are empty because it's a brand new uh, account that I have created. So you should go to uh, IoT Hub. You can search IoT Hub in the search bar. And if you can see the IoT Hub service, then click on it. So once we click on it, we have an option uh, to create an IoT Hub from two places. One is from create and another is from this button. So I have created. So I'll click on this. So once we click on this, we should first select the subscription. So here, uh, currently I have only one, that is free trial subscription, and I don't have any existing resource group. I need to create a resource group. So we can follow uh, uh, any kind of uh, naming uh, naming convention that uh, RG means resource group. So I created like this. So once we have that, we can also create an IoT hub. So IoT Hub name, I am creating IoT Hub uh, test one. So that is not available. So IoT Hub uh, for IoT Frontier. So that is available. And then I'm selecting East US as of now. And uh, the tier and the daily message limit are loading based on the region. And, uh, so now uh, the tier and uh, daily limit are loaded. So there are totally three popular things. So first one is standard, basic, and free. So you can also compare the tiers on clicking it. So you will be having uh, different options for which tier you will get which options. So for example, a uh, standard will give you uh, all the things. So it, it will be giving you Defender for IoT device updates daily and uh, the difference between free and standard are say, uh, most same. The daily message limit is different. And the basic one doesn't give us the cloud to device, uh, so the bi-directional communication will not be there. So that's why we should uh, either select free or standard. So now uh, I can also choose a free and I can see how much it is costing. So it's not costing anything, so I can select free. So I can click on next. So these are the connecti connectivity options. So basically for this demo, we can keep it as public and uh, the minimum TLS version. Uh, so based on security that you're choosing, it can be anything. So based on that, and it cannot be changed later. So right now I'm using the default 1.0. And uh, the management, uh, so shared access policy plus role-based access control. So I'm using both. So that is needed and assign me to IoT Hub data contributor role. So that uh, will be the access control. So that, uh, so we can click on that as well. And uh, device to cloud partitions. So how many partitions? So by default they have given two. So I'm selecting that. And if you want to change, that is also, so most IoT Hub only need four partitions maximum. So that you can look into. So based on your project and as I'm creating for the project uh, for daily, not for the production level, for trial purpose, so I'm using two. I can click on next one and then here we have, uh, if you want to enable these things at all. So right now this is for the, uh, not there available for the standard uh, free trial. So for the standard tier, I should be able to see these. And if you want to create any tags, you can create otherwise click on next. So, uh, so it has validated. Now we can uh, create. So I click on create. So it will start the deployment. So we can see all the steps uh, here in the notification. Once the deployment is done, so right now our deployment is in progress. So once the deployment is done, we should be able to see the status here. And we can also redirect to there on clicking the link. Now you can look into the notification, right? So it has 
uh, given the success metric, the deployment is complete. Now uh, we have also the option go to so I did click on go to resource. So it has created uh, the IoT hub with this name, and this is the home page that we see. And in the overview page, you can see all the required details. What is the resource group? What is the host name? Tire default message limit. So this is the daily message limit. How many messages we can send? And the location. Uh, what is the subscription and other tags? So once we have data being sent, the messages. So you can see the usage. Uh, so how many we have used per day, and also the graph of it, other other graphs as well. We hope this video is informative and has helped you understand on how to create IoT Hub in Azure Portal. Your support means a lot to us and please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. In the upcoming video, I'll be discussing on how to create IoT Hub device and IoT Edge device. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.